Hello, I'm Interpixel. Today I'm going to be doing my sixth video in my Blender course. Well, today it isn't really a video, it's just an update on Blender 2.83 and it's given us some more cloth physics and simulation. So, uh, I'll show you how to download Blender 2.8.3 because it's a bit harder and then I'll show you the cloth physics and some cool other stuff that you can do in Blender. Right, so the first thing you need to do is just go to Google Chrome where you usually get Blender and then uh, go to Blender.org or something else. So you see Blender.org, it can only do 2.82 because that is an, an experimental version. So just type in download Blender. There we go. And then we'll just do download. So Blender.org slash downloads in description. And that's 2.82. But when we go down uh, past this bit here, we get the go experimental version. So that is basically 2.83. So uh, go to download Blender thing, and so if you're on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Uh, so I'm going to be doing it on Windows today, but uh, I'll be showing you in uh, another side-by-side -side tutorial how to do it on Mac. Right, so uh, basically you just click download, you'll get this zip file here, wait for it to uh, finish installing, and then you uh, click on that, and then you click on the folder here, and you see you've got all of this stuff. And what you need to do is you just need to click on the Blender icon. It's not going to be this icon because you haven't extracted it yet. I actually did it uh, a bit before this tutorial. So it should just be a default EXE icon. You click on that and then you can click Extract. And then uh, choose a custom place. So um, I just uh, put it in my normal folder where I record all my videos. And then I just made a new folder called Blender 2.83 uh, X Arrow experimental and then I put the um, folder in there and the uh, the actual app right so you just click extract that might take a while and um, then after that you should just click on that and it will load up the new 2.83 version of blender so uh, you see here uh, it says Wind Windows uh, protects your P PC uh, so you can just click uh, on more and then click run anyway and it will open up Blender for you. Okay, so this is the second part of my tutorial on how to download Blender and now I'm on a Mac so do apologize for the 720p resolution. Uh, I'm actually on um, a MacBook Air so uh, I can't upscale the size any more than 720p so apologize for that. So, um, it's quite simple to go uh, and do Blender on um, a Mac because basically it's much simpler than the PC version. So again, uh, just go to Downloads, uh, Blender, and then you get confronted with the same screen and you just go down to go to Experimental and if you have a, a and if you have a new Mac, then it will just automatically go to Mac OS. If it's on Windows, just click Mac OS and download that. Uh, what it will do, it will basically have a DMG. You click on that, and then you can just drag drag it in. So for purpose of this, uh, I'll just download a bit. And so uh, it takes quite a while. So basically what you do is, you see, this is a DMG download here. And you can just drag it into your applications. And there you go. So uh, now, what I haven't shown you before is the cloth physics, and if you want to see the uh, new features that have been added, uh, then you can just go to uh, download, and go down to experimental, and then you can see the, uh, if you just click on new features and changes, and so Blender 2.83, you have user interface, physics, modeling, sculpt, cycles, EV, grease pencil, more features, stuff like that. If you're a nerd like me, then you can just uh, have a look at those. It's actually quite interesting, so uh, I do recommend. Right, so uh, once you've finished reading that, if, <laughs> if you've actually been bothered, uh, you can just type in Blender, command space, Blender. There we go, and it will open it up. It says uh, when you download it, do you want to keep both of Blender? And uh, I said replace because on my PC I kept both of them. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I just clicked replace because it would save memory. So it says Blender is an application downloaded from the internet. Uh, so just click on open because we know it's safe because it's Blender. 
there we go and it will just pop up and here we go so this is the splash screen uh it's the splash screen before so you can have if you want to be a bit vintage then you can go and blend the light and everything will look like the old version but better things added but i think it looks very disgusting and ugly i'm sorry sorry all the people who like uh 2.79 <laughs> Uh, so, yep, and uh, click next, and then you'll confront with the real splash screen. Let's just click general, and let's look at the physics, because that's the main thing that I'm worried about. Shift A, add a mesh, go to plane, S, scale it to 1, 0, scale it to 10. Add, um, I would say, 20 subdivisions. Oh, so click on subdivide, go down to our subdivide panel, and then go to 20. There we go, that would be good enough. Click Shade Smooth, and then go to our uh, Sculpting tab. So I haven't actually done a tutorial on sculpting in this channel, so I, I would link one down in the playlist if uh, that will be coming soon. And so um, you don't know what all of these things do yet, but you don't have to follow along if you don't want to. Uh, I'm just showing you the things you don't have to, but it's always fun to play around with it. Right, uh, so clay thumb looks like a new one because it has a none icon next to it, so they haven't created an icon. So let's see what that does. Okay, so basically uh, someone's... Well, it is a clay thumb. And uh, if you want to get rid of symmetry, go down to symmetry, unclick X. So it looks like someone's basically just dug in with their thumb to some clay, I suppose. Not that cool, because the coolest thing here is definitely the cloth. So, it might take a while uh, if you have a slow computer. So, you can just do that, and if the strength isn't big enough, go right up to 10 and perhaps adjust the radius, be a bit bigger. And then, you can see we got this cloth physics, and that is looking super cool. And we can also do simulation with that. Uh, that's quite advanced though, so I wonder if I'm going to be doing that in the Blender Beginners. But that is just so cool. And, um,. You can grab and push, and it's apparently taken them a very long time to make the cloth physics as good as it looks because it it literally looks like real life to me. It's like someone has literally just grabbed it and um, put it somewhere. So you can also add vertex groups and add cloth physics and uh, improve cloth physics now, but uh, we won't be going over that in this video. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, learned a lot from it. So that is PC and Mac. Uh, I think it's sim simple enough with Linux. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.